with myself That's the way I wanna be Laughing with myself That's the brightest side of me yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have a huge pimple on my lip It's been there for a few months And just this past week I started using the Mighty Patch And this isn't an ad for it, but it really helped bring out the pus. So, but uh, it's so big that it has a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? When something, you're like, oh, it's alive. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, well, well, happy Friday or happy day, whatever your day you're watching or listening to this. Uh, let's talk about NSYNC for a moment. Um, been seeing some clips online that NSYNC has been performing with Justin at his concerts, and he has a new album out. I see it. I hear, I see the billboards, Justin. And this is just a message to you, Justin Timberlake, from Melissa Villasenor. Um, I love you. You're great. But, but honestly, for real... We at NSYNC fans, we want NSYNC back. I, I think you're great, Justin, but it's tearing up my heart that you're making more solo stuff. I mean, just listen to me, okay? You, if NSYNC goes on tour, don't worry. You're going to make a lot of money. This I promise you. It's just been, I drive myself crazy, drive myself crazy, seeing all these clips of NSYNC performing online, thinking that they're going to have a tour, and I'd never seen them live, so I really hope they go on tour. So that was just my, I had to get that off my chest, all right? Um, it's finally Friday. I've been waiting all week, putting my priorities on work to hold off until tonight. I have the night free. I'm not doing stand-up shows. I'm going to play Pokemon Snap on my Switch. Um, last weekend, I was in Dallas doing shows, and um, my buddy Vince Caldera, hilarious comic, uh, also from LA, he featured for me, and we were eating, eating tacos after a show, and we were talking about game video games. And he told me he got Pokemon Snap, and I was like, what the hell? They made one? And so I was looking at the Nintendo site of Pokemon Snap, you know, all the, all the, just the graphics are gorgeous on this game. And it was funny because at one point my phone went, bang, bang, a Amber Alert, and I never pushed it, I <laughs> never pushed it so fast to get back to the Pokemon Snap images. I felt evil. But, hey, I was into the Pokemon Snap, Ooh, I wonder if someone goes out there with seeing an Amber Alert and is like, I'm on it. Boom, and goes find the kid. That's so scary, though. No jokes about that. But, I mean. So, anyway, tonight I'm going to play it. Uh, I don't have my Twitch set up just yet, just because I had to prioritize, again, some work stuff. So I... Um, I want to set that up very soon. I have the webcam. I have. Uh, I just need to get a TV monitor for playing the uh, Twitch. I have my Twitch account, so God, I can't wait because I know you guys want to join me. I know you do. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, tonight is the night. I've waited for Friday night. No shows. Gonna have pizza and play Pokemon Snap. And I'll let you know next week how it goes, you know, what, uh, what great photos I've taken of Pokemon. Oh. Last night I had my acting class. I have it on Thursdays. Realized something pretty good for myself and almost like it, the teacher's unlocking, unlocking me and ripping, you know, the pattern of how I've been. And this is exactly what I'm looking for because I, all these years, 
and no no judgment or, or hate on myself, but like I've had this comedic character of me, an exaggerated Melissa, as, you, as you've seen on stage and performing. But when it comes to acting scenes, I'm also trying to get into the other, the character. And yes, I could put a little bit of myself in it, but it's not the, and I think I've had a habit of, it's, oh, it's Melissa thinking. And, and it's not, and and the teacher was like, you have these certain, well, my voice goes up and that makes it more comedic, you know? And the scene is, the voice, the register is different. And I was like, oh shit, this is good. This is good for me. Um, and I'm just, I'm listening and I don't want to be stubborn. I want to actually, because that's exactly what I want is challenge. And how do I get out of this stilted character that I've just uh, default to? But, you know, I, that's what I, that's how it is on stage and stand up. But, you know, the acting has got to be separate. So I was like, man, that's good. It was a little tough. I was kept thinking about my pimple in the scene. I was like, oh, it really hurts. <laughs> but it was a good class. And my classmates are really sweet and so supportive and helpful. They really are. <laughs> hey, why is it that whenever we get a belly sound, you know, sometimes your belly makes a little growl and there's a friend near you or fa or family member and and you always are claiming that's that was your belly sound. It'll go, and you're like, oh, and I go, oh, sorry, that was me. And then they're like, no, that was me. And I'm like, didn't you? I felt it, though. How did you? I I don't get it. What if I feel it? How do you? You're so, the sound. You'd feel it. You'd know. But every single time, always someone, no, that was actually my belly. <laughs> no, it was mine. You want to bet? I'm gonna bring that phrase back. Oh yeah? You wanna bet? <laughs> Say it like that 90s kid. I feel like I dress kind of 90s today. I'm wearing a blue uh, lime green tie-dye t-shirt and it feels good for Friday. I feel like Friday should be tie-dye days. Don't you think? You wanna, wanna join me on that? Finally getting to my coffee. It's been a busy morning. Uh, what did I? Oh yeah, I did some cartoon voiceover today. Walked Penny, pitched my sitcom. They're all passing, guys. I know. I know. But you know what? I put a lot of heart. I tried my best, and that's all you could do. And I trust the timing of things. I've learned that lesson many times. Timing is everything and I'm grateful I'm putting doing all that I can and working with amazing friends that believe in me and, and bring out the good in me that's important you know what word I I like fooey when something doesn't go as I want or planned I go ah fooey I mean Yes, of course. Fuck is better. Especially that d delivery. Fuck! <laughs> I have to do it funny, you know? But, but fooey, fooey's a good one. It makes it a little lighter and cartoony. Oh, fooey. Yes, Ella. Okay, you want to say hi? I think Ella wants to say hi to you guys. Oh, maybe she just wants little pets. So pretty. She's a pretty girl. Uh, the other day I caught myself. I was on the phone scheduling something and I was, you know, I had my paper calendar on my desk and my left hand, I was, <laughs> you know, it's going to be gross. I was fiddling around with one of my boogers while I was on this important business call. <laughs> they don't know, you know, but now I'm curious. I'm going to ask people what, what are your hands doing right now? If I'm on a call with him, what are you, are you fiddling with the boogie? Cause I am. <laughs> well, 
Looks like that's all I had today. Just a short little guy, but filled with a lot of love and hope and silliness. And remember, it's gotta be me. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't. I wanted to end it on NSYNC, son. Oh, fooey. All right. Well, have a wonderful weekend. You guys are the best. I'll chat with you next week. Oh, and there are new art prints now available. The spaceship girl, um, the teeny tiny little creatures, store.melissaviasenor.com, the cozy as fuck drawing or cozy as hell teddy bear. Those are all, they're now up on the store officially. So if you want to print, they're affordable. I make them affordable for, for my fans. Um, 35 buckies? Buckies. Um, yeah, and I did draw a couple this week that really made me laugh. So I had this idea for a clown in a sauna uh, months ago. And I was like, yeah, I really see this clown just in a sauna, exhausted with the makeup rushing down in sweat and just tired, you know. And it was supposed to, it was meant to be a little more of an emotional drawing because I feel in a, an exaggerated way, I feel a comedian, I'm a clown and I feel... I get, I want to just charge, wind down. So this drawing, I drew the clown. And then as I was drawing it, I love when draw, when this happens, a little idea pops. And I drew pubes, rainbow, rainbow pubes. And it matches the rainbow hair. <laughs> and now it's hilarious. And as I was drawing it, it made me laugh and smile so much. So I love when drawings turn around into the joy. You know, I think that's exactly what I love the most. Taking something mellow and then finding a little light. And yes, this will be a print. I feel like people want this in their restrooms or some relaxing part in their home. So I'm going to make this a print. Uh, just put in the order. So and then also another same same similar character, but uh, coming home from work. And there's a, a coat rack, but it has all the clown gear, uh, the the flower with the water, the colorful tie and rainbow wig and hat. So the clown, clown stuff on the coat rack. And that's it. All right. Happy March. Keep marching along. Bye, guys. Laughing with myself. That's the way I want to be. Laughing with myself. That's the brightest side of me.